What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 17 tutorial. My name is Alex and in this video I'm gonna show you guys exactly some really really cool cinematic transitions that you can use in your videos, in your vlogs, in basically any project that you're editing. So if you guys are excited make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new and as always let's get started right after the intro. Alright guys, so as you can see right now we are in Vegas Pro 17 and I have a couple of clips so I can show you like how to apply these transitions on it. Now first of all we're going to start off with the basic ones that you can use you know in terms of like cinematic transitions that you don't need plugins for that you can do straight away in Vegas Pro. So right here I have this really really cool clip of like this river you know in the mountains and everything and then it goes into this drone shot of like the hills. What we're going to do first of all is we're going to just connect these to each other and we're going to create this awesome transition that it's going to create a really quick zoom in zoom out onto the clip so what we're going to do first is we're going to zoom in quite a bit then we're going to move up for example four frames and we're going to also do that on the other side and then what we're going to do is we're going to press s on our keyboard to cut it and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the event pan crop icon of the first clip and we're going to work with keyframes now it's really simple because you have this box right here in front of you and we're going to create a keyframe at the very end of the clip where we're going to zoom in a little bit. Now, the thing is, we want to keep in mind this resolution with this border. So we're going to just, for example, give this template a name, for example, like zoom one. Then we're going to click on this disk at icon to save it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the second clip right here. We're going to also click on the event pan crop icon. And on this clip to create that transition, this is going to be the starting position of that one that we just created right here. So then what we need to do is go to the very end of this clip and we're gonna right click and we're gonna hit restore. Now let's play it back and let's see what this looks like. So as you can see, that looks really cool. And if you want to make this transition faster, you want to just go ahead and for example, like half it a little bit in terms of like size and length. So that's what we're gonna do as well. Let's say that we're gonna do two frames instead of four. We're gonna go back to the event pan crop and we're gonna make sure that our obviously our position is nice and in place. So we're gonna go to the second clip as well, where our beginning position is going to be the one that we just made. And at the very end, we're gonna just right click and hit restore. Now let's play it back because this will be a lot faster. So that looks really, really cool. Now Vegas Pro has also like very standard transitions that you can use in your clip. So let's say that we're gonna delete these two and let's just create a crossfade right here. Nothing too special. So we're gonna go to the transitions tab and we're not gonna pay attention to these new blue ones because these are plugins. They do not come with Vegas Pro standard. So let's say that we're going to look for the most cinematic ones that Vegas Pro standard comes with. Click on this cross effect and we're gonna pick the second one. Let's drag that onto the crossfade and let's see what that looks like. It looks really cool, but we can also make this a lot, a lot longer. For example, like this. So that's really, really cool for montages and everything. And obviously you guys can like browse the transitions menu with yourself. So let's move on to actually a little bit more advanced stuff. So if you want to pick up Vegas Pro 17, like with the plugins and everything, make sure to hit the first link down in the description. So right here, I have these clips of this bridge, as you can see, and then it moves to this clip where this car is driving in the middle of the mountains. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to make these crossfade once more. And what I think is a really, really cool transition when it comes to the new blue ones is the new blue LB travel. So let's drag that onto this clip and I also use this one for my outro, you know, a couple times. So let's play it back. But it's a really, really quick flash, as you can see. So let's just make this a little longer. As you can see, this looks really, really cool. Let's say that you're like editing a documentary and you have like some sunset footage. This transition is really, really cool. And obviously you can customize these. So if you click on transition properties right here, you can choose like the direction where it's coming from. For example, like the light, if you put that one to the other side, this is what that looks like. As you can see, it like it, it lights up the road right here just a little bit. Like you can really, really mess like with the blend as well. For example, like this, or you can put that one really, really heavy. 
So you can mess around with like multiple settings and like really create these like cinematic transitions and it is not really that complicated guys. It is just a matter of like fine tuning it and like see like where the transitions are coming from and all that. And obviously you can choose like for example different colors from where it's coming from white as you can see. So let's just pick for example like orange because I think that that would actually suit this transition because we have right here we have like this orange sun. So let's play it back. So as you can see, that looks really cool. And beside this one, we have tons of more transitions that we can actually just apply onto our video in the new blue effects menu. So let's say that you want to have like this nice laser line out like transition. So it's looking like this, you know, light leak effect. So you can also ch change the color, for example, to let's just go ahead and pick yellow. Maybe that one will also look decent. But this one is a little bit too yellow. So we're going to just drag this one a little bit more into the orange. Let's see what that looks like. All right, that's not too bad. So let's pick this one. So I'm going to just drag that on because this one is called the new blue LB light ring. So we're going to drag this one a little bit more into the orange side of things. So this is what it looks like. So that's really, really cool, guys. These are a couple of cinematic transitions. If you want to make me a part two of where I'm going to cover like a lot more transitions than just the, sh the ones I showed you, make sure to let me know down in the comments down below and also leave a like if you want to see more transitions in Vegas Pro 17. So when it comes to cinematic transitions, I don't really see, for example, like using like these transitions, you know, they're, they're gr they look great, but they're not really too like too cinematic if you're, for example, editing a music video. So we're going to just scroll down just a little more until we see like these really, really bright ones, like bright ones and dissolving ones. For example, this one, let's drag that on. But this one is a little bit too fast, though. But we can also change a lot of things, for example, like, you know, where like the color, let's say that we're going to pick this one and put this one to orange a little more. Let's see what that looks like. Kind of like this thunderish kind of you know transition really really cool we also have a lot more blur if you want to we have tons and tons of options that we can apply onto our transition but let's say that we're not going to create like this really really long one but a really short one so it looks like we have this nice glitch transition into the car clip and of course you can change up like the glitch colors and everything and you know the rgb shift for example like if you put that down if you don't want to have those lines you can just play it back like this as you can see, but you can also put that one really, really heavy. So it's going to be like just one glitch transition. And obviously, like I've mentioned, there are a lot of settings to be optimized and fine tuned and all that. The options are endless. So the new blue LB traveling rays are actually like something that will follow your object, as you can see, because if I scroll through the transition frame by frame, it actually like follows like the license plate of the car, like the backlights, you know, the more bright parts of your clip will be followed. So you can obviously make these changes while you're standing with your cursor on the clip itself. So you can change, for example, like like the, the amount of lights, for example, this. So you can just really, really optimize it and do it frame by frame and have like the blend as well. You can also change the color to, for example, a nice orange one because you have to keep in mind that this is a very orange slash red kind of clip. So you want to make sure that you will just keep in mind that you will have like matching colors. Obviously, the length also can be like really, really long or really, really short. And of course, the motion where like where it starts, as you can see, it start it happens like in the corner. You can also drag that down anywhere on the screen that you guys like using this marker, for example, like that. You can really, really optimize and fine tune these awesome transitions, guys. Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. 
It is that simple. It's not that complicated at all. Just spend like maybe like 10 or 15 minutes really optimizing the transitions and the results will pay off whatsoever. So guys, that's it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you would like to see more of these videos, make sure to hit the like button down below and also make sure to let me know in the comments what kind of transitions you like the most and that you guys are using the most. So that's it. Thank you guys for the continued support. I'll see you guys in a brand new video tomorrow. So that is all I have for you guys today and I will see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video. Oh,